So Montana Love gets stopped for the first time in his career against Liam Pyro in round six, um, which pretty much was a to me it was a dull fight. Uh, typical Montana Love, you know, jab jab, you know, occasional power punch jab jab. Um, he was he was connecting. Uh, when he can, when he could, with that jab, nice strong jab he had. He just didn't have. I mean, look, man. Le- leading up to the fight, you know, Montana Love with the typical antics. You know, coming to the weigh-in with his jury on and all of this stuff, man. You're supposed to, you know, when you see stuff like that from a lot of these fighters, man, they just not focused, man. I, I said this like years ago about him, like. He coming to the weigh-ins and to the fights with this little dog and all this other stuff. He's, he's trying to set a certain persona about himself, man. You know, trying to be kind of Floyd Mayweather-like and all of this stuff. Instead of really focusing on the sport and the craft. Because he's not even, you know, he's not even that accomplished in boxing yet, man. There's nothing wrong with setting your own characteristics and stuff. But sometimes you got to focus on the task at hand, trying to build yourself up. It didn't get there. You know, he not the, he don't even have 20, you know what I mean? He don't even have 30 fights yet. He got, but now he got, what? How many fights on his record now? Um, 20 fights, I think, all together. You know what I'm saying? So, no, he got like 21 fights. You know what I mean? He, come on. His career is still, he, he's been boxing since 2015. He was always okay to me. But he gets knocked down a lot. So a lot of people are questioning his chin. I just think he's just susceptible to um of a uh, um, flash knockdowns too. But to me, he just never was that good, man. He was okay. He was always to me, Montana Love was always subpar. Uh so Liam 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 Pyro uh, at the last at the weigh in. You know, Love was trying to do his, you know, his intimidating things. Because, you know, Leo, Liam was talking this shit before the fight. I One thing I'll say about these Australian fighters, man, it seemed like you know, when these dudes say that they're going to do something in the ring, it almost seemed like they do it. For real. They, like George Cambosos, I told people, yo, he was going to get T.O. I said, yeah, I think he's going to get T.O., bro. And that's what he did. Um, Tim Zhu. He's like, yeah, I'm going to go in there, I'm going to do this, that, and the third. He does it. And this Liam Pyro dude, he pulled it off, man. Something about these Australians, man. I got to give it to him. Real shit. I'm not even going to sugarcoat nothing. Like, when they say they're going to do something, you better be on your A game to stop them from doing it because more than likely they're going to do it. I give him that. So he gets knocked down in the sixth round and then gets back up after the count. Gets cracked and enjoyed knocked down again. That's the quickest back-to-back knockdowns I've ever seen, man. If you can show me one that's even faster, let me know. You know, and then ultimately, uh, he was still kind of buzzed and hurt from the, the second knockdown. Those two knockdowns took a lot out of him, and then ultimately, man, he couldn't do nothing. He tried to lure uh, Liam to the to the ropes, back up, and then he just let Leo just go to town on him, and then they stopped the fight. <laughs> So this is Montana Love's first knockout. Um, where does he go from here? Uh, I don't think this is the end of the road for him, but he got work, man, to do, man. I don't, I don't think he's all the way there mentally with boxing, man. I just think, I just don't think he's like real dedicated because he's supposed to fight. Uh, his last fight got got postponed. He's supposed to fight Richardson Hitchens, I think. Um, what happened with that? I think he got hurt or something like that. So he he didn't fight Hitchens. He would have got picked apart by, uh, by Hitchens too. You know, this is his second straight um, Australian though um, that he had went through things with the Stevie Spark situation um, that, that ended in disqualification. He ended up, you know, turning it into a wrestling match, throwing dude out the ring, and you know he got disqualified. That was his last fight. You know, that was way that was back in the 2022 of November last year. 
So uh, he's not disciplined, Montana Love. I don't think he's really tuned in fully to the sport. He just enjoys the money and like the notoriety that comes with it. I just don't think he's there. I just don't think he's there with the sport fully. As far as uh, Liam Cairo, I believe the winner of this fight is supposed to have lined it up with the winner of Devin Haney versus Regis Prograde, and that's obviously Devin Haney. But uh, we'll see how that one plays out and then what happens next for Liam Pyro. Good win, good stoppage. He needed that. That kind of elevated him, so we'll see what's next. Anyway, let me know what y'all think, man, about this fight between Liam Pyro and Montana Love. It's your boy Rebel Life Boxing. I'll catch y'all later on the next one, and I'm out.